And above all, take the shield of faith with which you are able to quench all of the fiery darts of the wicked one. Did you notice above all and why? Because Satan's darts can be lethal. Without a shield of faith, our hearts can be penetrated by three darts full of deadly poison. The first is the dart of worry. When Jesus said, do not worry about your life, it was to say, I've got this. I hold your future and all things will work together for your good. And the more faith you have, the less worry will plague you. The second dart is equally as debilitating. It's the dart of fear. All 12 disciples were shot in the heart by navigating a storm in the middle of the Galilee. Do you remember? They woke Jesus screaming, Lord, don't you care that we're perishing? And then Jesus said, why are you so fearful? Fear is debilitating, but faith is often found in fearful circumstances. The third dart takes aim at leaders who are drowning in responsibility. It's the dart of trouble. Jesus said to Martha, you are troubled by so many things. He said to his apostles right before he was leaving, let not your heart be troubled, only believe. Trouble is a distraction, but the shield of faith will keep us focused on who's in control. A shield of faith protects our hearts from worry and fear and trouble. And the more battles you fight, the more reliable that shield becomes. And Satan's darts will start to look more like cotton balls.